So let's talk about distribution here and trying to understand why all those things are important, right? So remember, I'm looking at the pro products coming out of a process or a service, you know, coffee's coming out of Starbucks or loans coming out of the lenders or uh, mortgage being paid off, whatever process you're thinking about or hospitals, uh, you could be in the, there's usually a lot of people from hospitality management. You can think about parks and golf courses and all that. Uh, or you can think about events. There's usually some people from sports and retail in here. And so, you know, you can think about a sports event or every process that you're repeating, you're transforming something, right? Uh, so we're looking at that. You're taking that distribution and you want to find out if something is going on there, if something has happened in the process by only looking at the output of it, only looking at the time it takes or the quality of a process. And why are we talking about this, right? So we're talking about this because we're going to use the normal distribution to find out if there's a special cause variation happening, which means if something's happening and I thought it was was uh, normal, it was just the normal variation, and it's not. How we're going to use that? Well, we know that the normal distribution is symmetric, right, right or left. It's the same. Here is the calculation for the mean and the standard deviation. And then here goes the good news. You don't need to calculate standard deviation. We're going to use Excel to do that for us. And I know in their stats class, you probably had to calculate that by hand, but that's totally useless. You have Excel. It will do that for you. Even the mean, you know, looks a very ugly formula here. Uh, well, we know that if we are one standard deviation to the right, to the left, we're about 68% of our distribution. So we can expect that about 68% of our sample be within one plus or minus standard deviation, right? And if it's not, we know that mm, something's going on. At the same way, if we take two or three standard deviations, right? And we know that if we take three standard deviations, we have we should have 99.74% of our distribu distribution of our sample sorry uh, within those limits right so what does that mean well it means that if uh, you take a data point right from making a sandwich whatever it is and it is you know far away than three standard deviations from the mean what is that telling you well, it tells you, you it tells you, sorry, that is very unlikely that that observation comes from this distribution here. So it is more likely that you have something going on in the process. If you take a data and it's here, it is probably because a special cause variation impact on that process and made that observation being a lot higher than it that it's supposed to be it's very unlikely that that comes actually from this distribution It's not impossible that it comes from this distribution is that it's only very unlikely okay and that's how we're going to uh, work and that's how we're going to look at data we're going to look at a sample and we're going to look at the sample uh, data point and observations and see if they're too far away here or here, so too lower or too higher, uh, it is probably because a special cause variation happened, right? It's very unlikely you can have that data point in a sample, but it's very unlikely that you have one, right? It most likely that the data points are within, you know, two and two and something, right? And you, because you expect them to be, uh, concentrated in the middle okay so points like this points here are very unlikely if that happened is we're going to investigate as there is a special cause variation happening okay and that's the important of the normal distribution so that's the use of the normal distribution is to find out if that observation uh, it's there because again the same example that I told you before just looking at my throwing darts accuracy if the accuracy goes down mm, something's wrong with Dr. Maradine right